Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me at flurn.com where we make learning fun. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to fill text with an image in Photoshop. Let's go ahead and jump in. You can download the sample images and PSDs to follow along on flurn.com. Just follow the link right down below. So here we are in Photoshop. The first thing we'll wanna do on a new document is hit T for my type tool. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click right here and we're just gonna type in florist. There we go. And I can't see anything, so let's make sure to click the color and we're just gonna make it black right now. So we have our florist type, that looks pretty good. Now, my big advice here is to choose a font that is really dense because you're gonna be filling this with an image, you wanna be able to see a good amount of your image. So we're gonna choose our font. I'm gonna go here in my character window we're gonna go ahead and choose our font. I'm gonna choose Azo Sans Uber. This is an Adobe font. You guys can download it from the Typekit to follow along. There we go. And as you can see, it's extremely dense, which is exactly what we want because it's gonna allow for more of our image to show up. So let's go ahead and put that right there about in the middle. Now, if you do this in lowercase letters, you can always capitalize it using this button right here. And that's gonna make sure that everything is nice and large. So now that we have our font, let's go ahead and bring in our sample images. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab this little bit of flowers, click and drag right over top of our image. Let's hit F for full screen. Now, this is incredibly easy to do. Because I have my flowers on a layer right above my text layer, all I have to do is right click here on my flowers layer and go down to where it says create clipping mask. What this is gonna do is it's only gonna make my flowers visible just where my type is visible. You can see an incredibly quick, beautiful technique. Now, I'm gonna just hit Control or Command T. Let's scale this up a little bit. There we go, and we can use this a couple of different times. So I like that quite a bit right there. I think it looks cool, especially how it interacts with this R. Now, obviously my image ends and I need to fill the rest of my image. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hit Control or Command J and that duplicates my flower layer. Now, the duplicate is not clipped to my text, so I'm gonna have to clip that as well. We're gonna right click here on our duplicate and we're gonna go down to create clipping mask. Boom, you can see now both of my layers are moved over, they pop a little down arrow and they're clipped to my florist layer. So I'm gonna use my move tool here, there we go, V for the move tool, and we're just gonna click and move this right over here I think this is gonna look really, really cool. I kind of like how there's a nice play between the, uh, between the flowers and the little outline for the text. That looks great. Now, in this case, I only want this to be visible right up to the eye, so I'm gonna put a layer mask on there. I'm gonna use M for my marquee tool. Let's just go ahead and make a nice rectangular marquee, something like that. I'm gonna click on my layer mask and hit Shift, Delete, and we're gonna fill our layer mask with black. That's gonna make it invisible there. Control or Command D to deselect. So as you can see, I've actually got two different images that are visible in my text. And the reason why they're showing up only where the text is, is because they are clipped to the text layer. Now, here's another great little tip for you. Right now, it's a little bit difficult to see the outlines of my letters. So I'd like to add a stroke to the letters themselves. So what we're gonna do is go back to my original florist layer, this text layer, and I can hit Control or Command J. It makes a copy, and as you can see, the clipped layers are now visible on the copy. So if I make the copy invisible, the letters become invisible as well. But here in the original, we're gonna go ahead and add a stroke to this layer. So we're simply gonna double click here in this gray area. There we go, and I'm gonna go on this stroke, and then for our color, you can actually just use the eyedropper and sample anywhere in your image. And I'm gonna just go ahead and sample this nice purple color. That looks really good. And you can just change the size really easily here. So you can see about what effect will look good. And I think this looks pretty nice, right about five or six pixels. So as you can see, I can just turn that off or on. So this is an entirely new text layer. It's just a duplicate of the florist copy. And this is what allows me to see this stroke. Now for a little bonus, we're gonna do the same thing with an icon. So let's go ahead and grab an icon and we're just gonna hit Control or Command T. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and we're just gonna put this on the top of the eye right there. Let's go ahead and duplicate our image of our flowers. Control or Command J to duplicate that. We're gonna grab it right up and bring it above our flowers. So you can see, here is our flower icon. Let's just double click and call it flower icon. 
we have just another image of flowers and we want to right click here and go to create clipping mask just like we did with our text create clipping mask boom and there we go i can even move this layer around so it's going to show up different areas with there we go depending on where i move it it's going to look a little different and we can even hold alt or option and duplicate this layer effects and have our stroke show up there as well. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. We'll send you a free tutorial every single week. Thanks again, and I'll learn you later. Bye everyone.